All right, students, welcome uh, back. We are today looking at Microsoft Excel, uh, and I wanted to give a quick introduction to see how it works and how to use it as a calculator and how you can use it um, uh, to explore functions as well. Uh, so we are looking at, um, so Excel is just an arrangement of boxes uh, that you can use to organize information. Um, you can put like names in boxes, uh, let me, oop, I'm in annotate mode. Let me go back here to cursor mode. Uh, you could type names, uh, you know, numbers, days, all sorts of information in there, but you can also use these as a calculator. And that's how we're most interested in these. Uh, so we're looking at um, uh, the function uh, g of t. Uh, equals t plus 3 divided by t minus 1. And uh, we were asked to find g of 6, so we're supposed to use that. So that's our general function, is g of t, and we want to find g of 6. And so we want to put in 6 uh, for t. And that arithmetic is pretty easy, but we can also use Excel to do that arithmetic for us if we want to. Um, so. Let me do that. What we want to do, um, if you're doing a calculation, you always want to start that with an equal sign. Uh, in uh, Excel, we're going to start with the equal sign. Uh, and then I've got uh, a 6 plus 3. Uh, and Excel follows the order of operations. So we want to do the stuff in parentheses first. So we do want to put the 6 plus 3 in parentheses and the 6 minus 1 in parentheses in order for it to do that calculation correctly. Uh, otherwise, it will follow the order of operations. And um, if you leave off the parentheses, it'll do the division first. New and improved insert function. Got it. OK. Uh, and so it gives me 1.8 as the answer uh, in there. So 1.8 is what you get when you plug in 6. All right, uh, but we can also be more fancy. Uh, if we want to, um, we can um, be fancier and we could do, maybe if we want to do a bunch of different numbers, we can also do a bunch of numbers. Uh, so let's just start off with a few numbers here, one, two, three, and four. Uh, and I want to look at what is G of uh, one, G of two, G of three, and G of four. What I can do is I can, again, do the, instead of just doing a simple calculation, I can do it as a formula. Uh, what I can do is I say, I wanna take uh, and use the cell reference feature. I wanna take um, uh, A1, I wanna take one and add three to it and then divide that by in parentheses. I'm gonna click there on the cell uh, A5 again uh, and do a5 minus 1. All right, and so this is going to do the calculation for us, but it's going to use the number 1. It's plugging in the number 1 for us. Uh, and so what we're doing, oh, I can't use 1 because I'm dividing by 0. That bottom would be 0 if I did 1 minus 1, and we're not allowed to divide by 0. So, uh, oops, let me call it t and g of t. So what I can do is I can make a table of values uh, and I can use the expand property of, um, of Excel to do things uh, great. So I'm doing here, um, it's kind of hard to see it, but up here at the top is, let me get my spotlight here. Um, you can see the formula showing up here for the cell that you're looking at. It's showing up here at this very first top thing uh, and it's showing you the result down here um, in the um, this is kind of your cell bar, your formula bar there. It tells you what you're doing and it's giving you the result down here in the thing. Of course, I'm dividing by zero. I'm not allowed to divide by zero. So it's giving you that error that you're trying to divide by zero. You can't do that. All right, but what the nice thing is that you can do in Excel is if you have a bunch of things that you're trying to do that same calculation over and over again, but with different inputs, which is something we do a lot in with functions, is if you move your cursor down here into the bottom corner, 
So it turns from the fat plus into kind of a, a skinny, uh, skinny thing. What you can do is you can drag that down. And what it will do is it will automatically copy that formula down, uh, but it will adjust for that. It's, it'll, it'll look at things relative to them. Uh, so like at this stage here, um, the form, if you go up here and check the formula bar up at the front and the highlighting is kind of showing off what it's doing, um, it's taking in parentheses, it's taking the number in cell A6, which is the two, it's adding three to it, uh, completing that calculation with the parentheses and then dividing by that A6 minus one. So it's doing the T plus three divided by the T minus one using two in for T. And it's doing that automatically for you. So you don't have to type in that formula over again. Um, you can use that drag down feature uh, to uh, copy that formula down uh, and it will spread it down. You can do it even farther. And then you can come over here and add in additional numbers if you want to. If you want to see what happens with five or six or seven or uh, eight, uh, or actually, if you want to even be fancier, you can highlight a couple of these and drag down, and then it will fill in lots of different numbers in there for you, 12, 13, 14. It'll look at that pattern on the left. It'll evaluate that function at a lot of different places, wherever it can, and give you the output there. Um, so uh, you got the formula. You can do the, the basic calculation that you want with numbers in there, but you can also do it with a cell reference in there. You can put that variable in there. Uh, and that way, especially if you've got to do a lot of evaluations using the same numbers over and over again, uh, it's super, super easy. But the key thing is a formula has got to start with the equal sign. Uh, and then uh, then it's going to say, oh, I'm doing a calculation here. That's what tells it's doing a calculation instead of that you're just entering text. Uh, because if you just type in parentheses uh, 6 plus 3, divide by parentheses 6 minus 1, minus 1, uh, it actually won't do any calculation with that. It just shows you what you typed in. It's assuming that that's text that you're entering and not uh, not a calculation. So calculations start with the equal sign if you want it to actually do some calculation. Uh, and then the, the advantage is you've got this reference option where you can type in a formula uh, using a cell as your variable. Click on a different cell. You can either type in the, the cell reference A5 or you can um, you can just click on the cell and it will put that cell in there, uh, and then it will refer back to that cell. And as you change the value in A5, it'll change the results in there. Um, or you can copy down and get a bunch of them. So really handy tools for using Excel. All right, that should do it here. Uh, did I stop recording? Control R. Recording on, Control R. Oh, alternate R. <laughs>